Open the door. The test protocol will begin in two minutes. Make the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Minsk. Forget Minsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minsk is dead, 
There can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up, and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. My ship is prepped and we're ready to go. Head your way now. Sectors 3, 4, and 6. Sarah. All personnel must evacuate. This is Nova. Begin your sweep. Find Kerrigan. Bravo team, acknowledge. Yep. Like 
riding a bike. Jim, do you read me? We read you. Kerrigan, I'm glad you're alive, but we're cut off from your location. You'll have to fight your way across the lab to the tram station. That will take you to Jim's ship. Roger that, Junior. We can handle it. Kerrigan, my forces have taken control of the security hub. We're putting this facility on lockdown. Make this easy on everyone, and surrender now. Looks like a rough fight. They have caged Zerg in there. We can use this console to set them loose. Or we can use it to activate the gas defenses. What the hell? Who opened the cages? We're in full retreat. I'm en route to the Hyperion. Roger that, Valerian. Hail us when you're on the bridge. Just you and me now, Jim. Let's move out. The Dominion is deploying some kind of heavy mech in the shuttle bay. Move out! We have to hold them off until the evacuation is complete. Almost there. Let's follow these guys to the shuttle bay. Archangel in position. I've got the shuttle bay secured. All Dominion forces, push forward. Jim, the Archangel is between us and your shuttle. Jim! Damn it! Sarah, I'll find another way to you. <laughs> well, you better hurry, or I'll kill this thing without you. Hurry up, Jim. I think another wave is incoming. Sarah, I'm cut off. I can't get to your location. Take my ship and go! We just found each other again. I am not leaving you behind. Rainer, Kerrigan, I'm on the Hyperion. We're setting course for the rendezvous. What is your status? Kerrigan is taking my dropship. I need extraction. I understand, and I'm sending a team for you. Do not screw this up, Valerian. Kerrigan, I'll see you at the rendezvous. And I'm sorry I didn't listen to you sooner. It's too late for apologies, Valerian. Jim, I'll take your ship. But if you get yourself killed, you're in huge trouble. <laughs> yes, I'm noted. Jim, Dominion reinforcements are arriving. The Hyperion is taking heavy fire and my team can't reach you. Roger that. Get the Hyperion to the rendezvous. I'll find another way off-world. See you there. Nova! Well, well, Jim Rayner. If you'd helped me with my Tosh problem, I might have looked the other way while you got out. But you chose poorly. All right, Blondie. Take your shot. Jim. We couldn't get him out. Valerian. You left him behind. Stand down. Let him go, Kerrigan. Valerian is helping us. There is no us. IFF negative. Multiple hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads, three through nine. Hull breach, frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver, Delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. She 
shields at 30. Failure imminent. Multiple Dominion fleet, this is Hyperion. Cease fire. Crown Prince Valerian is aboard. My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the queen. We have to jump now. We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Decompress Sarah! We need to work together. Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Kerrigan, before we jumped, Hyperion tracked multiple Dominion signatures headed down to the surface. You're gonna have a surprise party down there. Scanning. Detecting Dominion forces and a Zerg hive cluster. Yeah, there must be an old hive here. I'm more worried about the Dominion. Ground team, this is Fleet. What is your status? Fleet, our base is set up and the Dragon Pulse Cannon is almost online. Roger that. Eliminate all stragglers as they warp to these coordinates. We'll return for you. Fleet out. That cannon will take out Jim's ship as soon as he enters orbit. He'll never see it coming. Set course for the Zerg Hive Cluster. I need an army. I can sense a mind controlling this brood. Who are you? My queen, I am Nakjul, a brood mother. You created us to extend your control of the swarm. Have you returned to us? I'm not your queen and I haven't returned. But I need your brood to destroy the Terran cannon right now. Most of my brood is with me. I can send them to you, but it will take time. Then send them. When they arrive, we'll tear down that cannon before Jim gets here. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare this hive for combat. The Dominion would have tracked my ship and they'll be looking for me. My brood has come! They are yours to command, my queen! Perfect. Now let's get up to their base and destroy that cannon before Jim arrives. The gun is destroyed! The Terrans are fleeing to their ships! Kill them all. No one gets out alive. Yes! The Queen has returned! Kill the Terrans! The Queen? You're right. I was slipping back into something that... I have to get out of here. We will await your return. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous, it's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Notorious rebel Jim Rayner was captured in a daring raid yesterday. He was briefly interrogated. 
and summarily executed. Emperor Mengsk had this to say. Proud Dominion citizens, at long last our nightmare is over. The lawless terrorist James Rayner is dead. With his death comes a new era of peace. The Protoss have retreated from our Dominion and the Zerg threat has been removed. Their swarm is shattered and leaderless. Soon, we will eradicate every last Zergon charm. In short, we have won. Our peace and security is assured. Good night, my faithful subjects. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed. Intercepted Dominion transmissions indicate the Zerg Swarm has been split into factions. A brood mother named Nafash took her brood to the frozen moon of Calder. Recent reports indicate a Protoss presence there. There is a high likelihood that Nafash is fighting the Protoss for control of Calder. Her brood is believed to contain highly evolved, dangerous Zerg organisms. Detected. That's why I'm here. They'll either accept me as their queen, or I'll start killing them one by one until they do. What are you? I am Isha. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. Do you not remember? Yes. I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the Swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The Swarm is in disarray and will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Calder are under the command of Broodmother Nefash. She seeks to create her own swarm. While she lives, the swarm will be divided. Not for long it won't. Take us down to the surface. The scouts report that Nafash set up a hive on this plane, but abandoned it shortly after. She moved off into those ice valleys. That must be where the Protoss are. Tell me about this Leviathan. It is the organism from which you command the swarm, and this is its nerve center. And it can take me to any world I wish? Of course, my queen, but our numbers are few. Before conquering other worlds, you may wish to reclaim your forces here on Calder. Leave the strategy to me. Now, what else can I do on this Leviathan? You can evolve and upgrade your swarm in the Evolution Pit. The creature Abathur can help you.
What are you? Abathur. Evolved swarm, spin strands and sequences. Served Overmind, then served Queen of Blades. Now serve you. I am the Queen of Blades. Mm, different. Examining genetic strands. Queen of Blades was efficient. Ancient Zerg qualities. Minor Terran influence. You, infected with more Terran matter. Grasper limb poorly designed. Can improve. We'll give it back better. Don't touch me. Only focus is evolving the swarm. Seek perfection in all things. Work in evolution pit. Can review my work here. Many benefits to evolving swarm. Start with Zergling. Swarm suffering on this moon. I thought you'd made my Zerg stronger than this. Calder as cold as deep space. Other than Leviathan, no reason to specialize Swarm for such cold. Is that an excuse? Wasteful to spin unnecessary adaptations. Complexity bad. Not needed before. Needed now. We'll look for local fauna. Essence useful for Swarm adaptation. Do it. Organism can be upgraded. Three distinct mutations available. Once chosen, will activate sequences within creature. Improve combat potential. Mutation choice, not permanent. Can alter at any time. Nafash moved her brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. This moon has pockets of intense cold, called flash freeze storms. One such storm is approaching. It will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost. The storm will pass quickly, but while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. The Protoss sense the awakening. They are aware of our presence. The Queen of Blades. But what has happened to you? Frail and human. Protoss, I wondered when you'd show yourselves. We must inform Shakuras. They will send the Golden Armada. They will destroy you. Isha, tell me the Protoss are out of range of Shakuras. They are, my queen. However, the Protoss have Psylink Spires that can amplify their psionic communication. Then we destroy those Spires before the Protoss can activate them. The Spires have fallen! Retreat! The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. We captured a prisoner in the Wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. My queen. Your chamber is now available. Within, you can alter your abilities. Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful and tenacious. But she made one mistake. She ran away. The hunt goes well, my queen. 
It's bloody. Those Protoss would kill you if they could. They are not Zerg. That means they are the enemy. Is it that simple? For Zerg, it is. Whatever my queen has lost, think what she has gained. Purity of essence. You are the will of the swarm. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your Golden Armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end we are both killers. What is that sound? Failed experiments. Reverting to biomass. Slow process. At least put them out of their misery first. Wasted effort. Creatures will die soon. Pain irrelevant. When you say things like that, Abathur, I almost remember you. And I feel... anger. Anger product of adrenaline. Stress response. Imminent threat. No threat to you. No anger. I'll be the judge of that. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. The Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuris! If a single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuras to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's Hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Hydralisk reconstituted can morph from larva. I need more Hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. Good. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is removed. Nothing is done. Until they are all dead. I feel my queen's hatred burning like a star. But there is something underneath it I do not understand. It's pain, Isha. Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from... memories. Of an enemy who damaged you? No. Memories of better times. Of a friend, now lost. You have grown stronger, my queen. New abilities are available within your chamber. Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship they used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. You do not have to do this. You could leave. Be away from this moon before the Golden Armada arrives. I can't run. I know that now. My enemies will never stop coming for me. All I can do is fight. Then there will never be peace. <laughs> peace? New discovery. Large-scale improvement to Zergling sequences. What kind of improvement? Answer complex can branch evolution of fully evolved Zergling, form two new strains. 
Then add them to the swarm, Abathur. Strains mutually exclusive will compete in sequence. One must be chosen. Other must be discarded. Fine. Make some of each. I want to see them in action. We'll set up tests for both. Initiate from Evolution Pit. I'm going to look into your memories and find out why I feel so angry when I see you. Memories not important. Distractions. I see it in your mind. You designed the Queen of Blades. Your limbs wrapped me in the chrysalis. Weak and soft. Broke bones. Tore flesh. Improved you. If you weren't important to my plans, you'd be dead right now. Unclear. The Protoss have launched a vessel from the dark side of Calder. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. The explosions have stopped. Wait. There is a disturbance in the chamber ahead. Emergency. Power failure detected. Awakening Protoss warriors from stasis. The Protoss are no more, my queen. My queen, can you hear me? We are alone. The Queen of Blades has given us one purpose. To destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. There's no turning back now. I do not understand. The Protoss will never forgive what I've done here. If my becoming human again eased their fears, well, I've given them new reasons to be afraid. But I'm not going to wait for them to come after me. I'll strike first. Our Leviathan is able to travel to another world at your command. It is done. The Golden Armada will never know we were here. I am glad that Protoss is no longer aboard our Leviathan. Her psionic presence was disturbing. She died bravely, trying to save her friends. Why do you care how the Protoss died? I will kill anyone in my way. That doesn't mean I enjoy it. Even Arcturus Mengsk, my queen? Will his death bring you no joy? Stop talking, Isha.
waste parasite into Protoss' host? Yes. What about it? Clever. Lateral thinking. Protoss not able to be infested, but can still be host to foreign organism. Origins of parasite unknown. I made it, Abathur. You're not the only one who can spin sequences. Revelation. We'll continue work. to see Menk's dead called me here. These Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. I'm looking through the eyes of my overlords. These primal zerg are fascinating. They show no signs of age. All organisms age, even zerg. But the primals feed off the essence of individuals. They're in a state of constant evolution. They don't die. Until they are killed by another primal. True. 
The most successful hunters among them must be incredibly ancient and incredibly dangerous. Why are you helping me, Zeratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good, though it earns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people and accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. I guess your day is almost here. What do you think of the Primal Zerg? Dynamic. Varied. Interesting. Messy. Unsuccessful. I thought you'd like them. As individuals, they constantly evolve to be more efficient killers. Primal Zerg. Reactionary. Improvised. Some good sequences. Can steal. Swarm. Efficient. Careful improvements. Successful. The Primal Zerg are disturbed by our presence. They gather even now, preparing to destroy us. I sense something. An ancient consciousness, sleeping. Mm. The Ancient One, a primal Zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it, don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zeros, you will need the Ancient One. My Queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. So this is the Ancient One. To awaken this creature, we must feed it. There's a lot of biomass here. We'll kill these Quilgore and have drones harvest meat from their corpses. Once the drone is done harvesting, it will drag the biomass to the Ancient. Wrath speaks now! You intrude on my territory, corrupt sir! We will devour your flesh! Warning! A force of Primal Zerg Flyers is preparing to assault the Hive Cluster. Mutalisks reconstituted. Ready for your armies. We'll destroy Primal Guardians. Primal Zerg forces are massing nearby. They are likely to attack again. Let them try. This ends now, corrupt Zerg. I will kill you myself. Defend the Hive Cluster! I return! Ancient One, I am here for the power of Zerus. I will sacrifice anything to achieve my goal. You will help me. Your swarm bears the mark of Amon, the fallen Zernaga who came to Zerus long ago. He forged the Zerg into a weapon and took them away. Yet, some of us were hidden, overlooked. We multiplied. We remain pure. If you seek our power, 
You must become Primal Zerg. You must become pure. Primal Zerg say the swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Amon do to us? He desired our strength, the ability to steal essence. But we were independent. We would not follow. And so he bound the Zerg to a single overriding will. They lost their identity and became his slaves. The hive mind. That's Amon's corruption? It is. And a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg. My queen, why did we wake the Ancient One? Its power outstrips even yours. The Ancient One is key to unlocking the power of Zerus. And I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Rayner came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha, is that sometimes you lose. Primal Zerg. Unacceptable. Must be wiped clean. No trace left. Destroy Primal Zerg. What are you talking about? Saw ranged Primal Zerg creatures on battlefield. Based on Hydralisk. Primal Zerg stole design from Swarm. Swarm on planet for hours. Days already being replicated. Abathur. Are you upset? Unacceptable. Swarm's power, ability to assimilate strengths. Primal Zerg must not take from us. Don't worry about it. They'll be on our side before I'm done here. Travel to the birthplace of the Zerg. There. You will be tested. You may be torn apart. If your rage makes you strong enough, the power of Zerus will be yours. You have come to this place, seeking power. Power to kill Minsk. Tell me what I must do. The power is more ancient even than I. It comes at great cost. What will you sacrifice to have your revenge? Everything. You must feel the power. It calls to you. Go to it. The Primal Zerg have been alerted to your arrival. They are coming for you. Abathur, send me the creature you've been working on. The Swarm Host. Adapted using Primal Essence. Spawns locusts to kill enemies. It's a pool. The first spawning pool. It existed before names. From this primordial place, the Zerg arose. Within, one essence split into many. One devoured another and became stronger. The first Zerg. You will have your power, and you will lose yourself. Evolve. Transform. Transcend. Recommendation. Avoid pool. 
catalytic fluid will overwhelm Queen's body. Not strong enough. The Queen's hate is strong enough. And if I survive, it will remake me. I will become more powerful than the old Queen of Blades. Isha, defend the Hive Cluster and the Chrysalis until I am done. Or dead. As you command. Isha, what is a primal Zerg doing on my Leviathan? I am Dehaka, one who collects. I kill. I take essence. Now I come to you because I feel your change. All Zerus feels it. All Zerus fears it and you. But you don't fear me, do you, Dahaka? You shine. You will bring more essence, and I will follow. When you do not, I will not. Well, I forged alliances on shakier ground than that. Very well, you can stay. Betray me and I'll collect your essence. Yes. feel as if I can rip worlds apart. And are you the equal of Aemon, who once controlled you? He never controlled me. I felt an influence. A trace of something dark but long gone. Aemon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so. For he truly could rip worlds apart. You radiate so much power, more than the old Queen of Blades ever did. Everything is different. I could always hear the swarm, control it. But now, I feel the swarm. Now I am the swarm. Do you think the remaining pack leaders will join me now? They are a rock, a tree, a hill. They will stand against the wind. They seek power. And you? I am a river. I will flow. I seek essence. Will the pack leaders have no chance against the swarm now? They gather essence for thousands of years. They are blinded. But they are not foolish.
genetic strands different. Restructured from base level up. Stronger than Queen of Blades. Sequences complex but clean. Completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding will return to work. It is time. Confront the remaining back leaders. Take what is theirs. Embrace the destiny of all Zerg. I will deal with the path leaders myself. Leader of the Broken Pack! No! Is that fear, Yagdra? You do know you never had a chance, right? Your change means nothing! I will melt the flesh from your bones! Makes die weeping. Make your peace. I feel your strength. You will be worth killing. Worth the blood. Thousand cuts shred the flesh! Welcome to your demise! Conquest continues.
Zerus is mine. Isha, prepare the Leviathan. It's time the Swarm returned to the Kapulu Sector. You have become strong and taken another world. I think you will conquer the universe. I don't know about that. But the Zerg will never again be pawns of other races. Not even the Zelnaga. We have changed. And now, other worlds await. Did you know the Ancient One would turn on me? Your essence. It called him. And you didn't try to warn me. He was Zerg. You are Zerg. One dies, and one grows strong. You know. I think I'm starting to understand you, Dahaka. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh. See only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving, can chase, cannot catch. <laughs> You certainly have your uses. We still need to travel to Char, formerly the Swarm's primary hive cluster in the Caprulu sector. Zerg and Terran factions vie for control of the planet. To reunite the Swarm, you will need to reconquer Char. Your first opponent will be the renegade broodmother Zagara. She will not surrender her brood to you without a fight. The Dominion sure made themselves at home while I was gone. Once I've reclaimed my forces, General Warfield is getting evicted. How can Zagara stand against you? Surely she has no chance. Zagara is different than the other broodmothers. Tougher. Meaner. You sound as if you admire her. I know something about being cornered and deciding to fight anyway. She won't make it easy. There are two broods on this planet. But there is only one swarm. The rogue brood will be brought back into the fold. You will collect their essence. We'll assimilate them if we can, or kill them if we must. Take their essence, then you will do both. Did the Broodmother Zagara try to take you with her? No, not powerful enough to command me. Only you. She was reaching for more than she could hold. <laughs> Ambitious. Adaptation. Place herself in situation where only option, evolution, force change on herself. So she may have evolved into something much more dangerous. That will make things interesting. One of your broodmothers, Zagara, refuses to acknowledge that you are the Queen of Blades. Before you can reclaim Char from the Terrans, you will need to bring her brood back into the fold. Zagara's brood is currently huddled in Char's Acid Marsh, where you stored millions of eggs for future use. 
From the location of her hive cluster, it appears the Gara intends to gather as many eggs as she can. She's trying to build an army. But how will she hatch the eggs? She can place them in a birthing pond to quicken. I have located our hive cluster near one such pond. Then I'll collect enough eggs to spawn an army and destroy Zagara. I have enough eggs. Abathur, infuse the birthing pond. Get those eggs to hatch for me. Simple. Catalytic solution. Accelerated quickening. Army ready in a moment. And now, I will take back my brood. Kill her. I only did as you instructed, my queen. Hold. I told you to rebel against me. You told all your brood mothers to be strong, to fight, to conquer. You said the Zerg lead by force of will. Your will is strongest, and I shall serve you. I will let you live, Zagara. I want to rebuild the swarm, and you are a part of that plan. You are my queen. Zagara is here to serve your will. Tell me, Zagara, how would you drive the Terrans from this world? I would obliterate their fortress on the Dauntless Plateau. But the only way to reach it is through the Bone Trench. Be warned. Ever since the Terrans destroyed our infested platform, they control the skies. We will be vulnerable. That doesn't concern me. Warfield has no idea what he's up against. But what of the Zelnaga artifact? Could the Terrans still possess it? They might, but I know it's not here on Char. It's no threat to us. The swarm is growing again. Now for you, Warfield. Reclaiming this world will send a message to your Emperor. I'm coming for him. There used to be billions of Zerg here. What happened? You dispersed the swarm to search for the parts of a Zelnaga artifact. But when the Terrans came here with that same artifact, you recalled the nearest broods to defend you. I see. But what of the broods that were still out in deep space? They went feral. They attacked each other. They died by the millions. That will not happen again. Do you know why I beat you in battle? You are stronger than I. No. Faster than? No. Do not toy with me, my queen. Tell me your secret. Talk to Abathur in the Evolution Pit. He will tell me? He will change you. Go. The Terrans. They cannot collect essence. No. They will fade. They are more dangerous than you know. I will taste their essence. Then I will know them. Tell me about the changes you made to Zagara. Brood Mother template already allowed complex problem solving, learning, ability to command broods, multiple focuses. Now added muscle density, expanded brain matter. Now able to hypothesize multiple scenarios, cognitive flexibility. Perhaps I should add this to all future Brood Mothers. Extraneous brain matter deemed unnecessary for broodmother role in swarm. Extra matter requires extra energy. Also needs to increase independence. This contradicts imperative. Zerg must present no danger to leader of swarm. Times are changing. I want my minions as dangerous as possible. To reach the Dauntless Plateau, we must move the swarm through the Bone Trench. 
The Terrans will bring everything they have against us. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. I tried to bring my brood through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. Wait, those are Scourge Nests. They could bring down a Gorgon. We just need to reawaken them. My queen, we should simply race through the trench, not waste time fighting Gorgons. If we surprise the Terrans, we can make it through with acceptable losses. And if we don't, the swarm dies. You need to learn vision, Zagara. Planning, calculation, cunning. We can use this creep tumor to spawn a tumor near the Scourge Nest. Once it's awake, Warfield's Gorgon is done for. Awaken. Annihilate that Gorgon. This is the beginning of the end, Warfield. The Scourge Nest spent its entire life force to take out the Gorgon. We have more. Get a creep tumor by the next one. Move! Pull back! Repeat! All Dominion forces in the trench! Retreat! We've lost control! Kerrigan! This is Warfield. I know you can hear me. I have a message for you. Bring everything you have. Bring your whole swarm. I don't want to hunt down stragglers after we wipe you out. I'll see you on the Dauntless Plateau, old man. My queen, I have been contacted by Kalisa, a broodmother. She has heard of your accomplishments, and wishes to return her brood to the Swarm. Her brood is small in number, but it has strong leviathans. Kalisa, hear me. The planet Mistef 4 is a hub of Dominion military production. Take your brood there, and destroy it. Do that, and you will earn your place within the Swarm. It shall be as you say, my queen. That fortress is nearly unassailable. There is only one ground approach, and one... It doesn't matter. We're the Swarm. We can sacrifice thousands for each one of their soldiers. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange. But I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand vision. I will go. It is a good sign that some of your broodmothers are returning to the fold. I wonder why they are willing to give up their independence. Perhaps not all of them wish to rule the Swarm. And perhaps they know there is safety in numbers. Why are you so obsessed with collecting essence? It will mean survival. Because new essence makes you powerful? Power will be a trap. The Buck leaders fell to this. If it's not power, what is it you get from essence? Essence is change. Change is survival. Collect and live. Stay still and die.
In the past, did I ever give you humans to experiment on? Yes, very bad. Primitive structures, minimal biological adaptability. I was born a Terran. Rare Terran individuals, high psionic potential, overcome flawed origins. From now on, we won't be doing any more experiments on humans. Am pleased to know it. To rule Char once again, we must destroy the Terran Fortress. They will fight with everything they have. We need only your command, my queen. We've reached the Terran Fortress. They're dug in and ready for us. There is no room for subtlety here. We will go after them wherever they are, and overwhelm them. Prepare for nuclear launch! I want the only thing left of these bugs to be glowing corpses. General Warfield is activating his nuclear arsenal. We have to move fast. Zagara, you set up a hive cluster while I take this wave and do as much damage as I can. The way is clear. Go, hunt them all down, but leave General Warfield to me. Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. We're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll get out another way. <laughs> Three shuttles packed with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> General, we're surrounded. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <laughs> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? Oh, Another world for the Swarm. The Broods are coming back together. Our enemies should fear us. There is still much to do. We are numberless, we are relentless, and we are evolving. We are also done on Char. I will decide on our next destination soon. so powerful. I feel as if I could be a threat to you now. Listen well, Sakara. Someday you might rule the swarm. If you think you can take it now, make your move. But the next time we fight, it is to the death. All or nothing. I will serve you and learn from you. And perhaps someday... I will lead the swarm, but not today. 
And what lesson did I teach you? Vision, my queen. You taught me vision. The swarm is powerful, but power is not enough for its leader. I defeated Warfield not through numbers or strength. I simply possessed vision, and he did not. I will remember it, my queen. There is no other creature like you in the swarm. Where did your essence come from? The Overmind spun me from many species, a brood of one. What did you do after the Overmind died? Wandered the tunnels of Char, without purpose. Pharaoh, Queen of Blades, found me, made me Zerg again. You aren't Zerg, unless you're under someone's control. Without overriding will, am beast, less. During the battle, the Terrans launched thousands of these devices at the Leviathan. They are not weapons. It's a two-way communicator. The Queen of Blades. I knew you'd return to your true form. A monster. Now, you'll do exactly as I tell you if you care at all about Jim Rayner. <laughs> yes. He's alive. So you'll keep your swarm away from Korhal and away from me. Or he dies. That man sacrificed everything to give you back your humanity, and you threw it away. <laughs> oh, he must be disgusted by you. Why, he'd be first in line to kill you. I can't sense Jim out there. If he is alive, nothing in this universe will stop me from finding him. At your orders, we will move our Leviathan into Dominion space and begin searching for the Terran ship Hyperion. You wish their help in finding the Terran Jim Rayner. Valerian, we're picking up some kind of reading. Warning. Psionic waveform detected. Scale. Unclassifiable. Kerrigan. What happened to you? How? There's no time. Listen carefully. Jim is alive and I can't find him. But you can. Hack the Dominion network and figure out where they're holding him. How can we trust her, Valerian? If there's even a chance that Jim is alive, I'm going after him. Hacking the Dominion security network will prove difficult. Only one man can hack that network. Colonel Orlin. And he's being held prisoner by... Mira Han. The mercenary leader. Isn't she a friend of yours? Not exactly. It's complicated. Let's just get this done. Find him, Matt. We both owe it to him. We have arrived in Dominion space. Should we move on the Dominion research facility? Not yet. I have to deal with something first. Will this give us some special advantage, my queen? Should Abathur be ready for new essence? Silence, Isha. This is a personal matter. It will end badly, but I must see it through. My understanding of vision must be incomplete. Why do you say that? 
Because I see no strategic advantage to this location. There is no essence to absorb, no enemies to conquer. Yet I know that you possess vision, and your actions always have an underlying purpose. My reasons for being here are my own. It is your right to keep the truth from me, my queen. But I will try to find it anyway. Go ahead and try, Zagara. I'm pretty sure this one is outside your understanding. To hack the Dominion's restricted network, we need the best decryption expert out there. Colonel Orlin. Unfortunately, he's being held captive by Mira Han, one of the meanest and craziest mercenary leaders alive. Mira Han, this is Prince Valerian. Do you read me? Of course I do, Princess. I know you're working with Matthew. Put him on, please. You forget yourself, mercenary. Hello, Mira. Matthew! You never write, you never call. It's almost like you don't care. I'm here to ask for your help. You've got Colonel Orlin and we need him. He's the only man who can hack the Dominion's deep encryption network. Well, I'd love to help. I just need the permission of James Raynor. Jim's not here right now. Oh, dear. Then I'm afraid I cannot give you Colonel Orlan. Look, Mira. We need Orlan to rescue Jim. Just hand him over. A mercenary's reputation is all that she has, darling. I will not relinquish my prisoner to anyone but the client. Not even to someone with your devilish good looks and brooding intensity. Sorry. We could destroy her operations in this asteroid field. That will get her attention. We'll have to cripple her prime space station. She won't make it easy for us. We need to set up our own base. And one of Mira's fleet stations is nearby. We can take them out and set up our own station. Nice work. We can salvage this base and have it start manufacturing automated fighters for us. Every time it puts a fleet together, it'll send them against Mira's guys. Can we just discuss this with her? It doesn't work that way out here, Valerian. Hey, magmines! Those babies pack a punch! They come at you in a straight line, so you can dodge them, or even use jump to get out of their way. Stop! Stop! You win, Matthew! You've destroyed my base, and captured my heart, all over again. She is very strange. Please, can we just take Colonel Orlin and go right now? I'm sending that disreputable fellow to you in a shuttle. You people are all crazy. Why would I help you? We could send you back to Mirahan. And tell me what you need. I must rebuild Mira's Marauders thanks to you, Matthew. But I will see you again. Not too soon, I hope. And I thought Dominion politics were vicious. I have been contacted by another brood mother. Ryloth has been keeping her large brood out of the conflict. She is impressed with you and wishes to bring her brood back into the swarm. Brood mother Ryloth, hear me. Take your brood to Jontor 2. This is where the Dominion manufactures their newest ships. Destroy that world for the swarm. It shall be done, my queen. Have you found anything? Colonel Orlin is hacking into the Dominion net right now. Tell him he's got one hour. I won't do that, Kerrigan. You're already in over your head. Don't make it worse. If the Dominion sense our intrusion, they'll move Jim or kill him. I am not going to risk failure because you are impatient. So save your threats. You've done some growing up since you, Moja. Zerg are not the only ones who adapt. Very well. I will wait for your expert to do his work. The Brood Mothers dislike working with Terrans. They were necessary to my plans. 
They are asking if we may destroy the Terrans, now that they are no longer useful. Tell them the Terrans are not to be harmed. It is my will. I will tell them, my queen. There will be no essence here. I cannot collect if there is none. We are here because our queen orders it. Do not dare question. I follow for essence. You must learn obedience, Primal. Yes, come to me. I will collect your essence now. Enough! Zagara, do not speak for me. Tahaka, do not collect from my swarm. Is it possible for the Swarm to hack into the Dominion's network? Terran systems inelegant. Problem with interchange. Many factors obstruct request. Biology. Language. So our thoughts are too different for anything beyond simple transmissions. Accurate. Zerg processes complex. Incompatible with Terran machinery. Then it's up to Valerian now. Time to contact Valerian and Horner. I have to know where Jim is. Kerrigan. We found him. Where? He's being held on the Moros, a mobile prison ship that jumps every hour to a randomized set of coordinates. There's no way to predict where it will jump next. They've got to resupply sometime. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas station for 32 minutes tomorrow. Atlas will send a tanker out to the Moros, but when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered to infiltrate. No, you've done your part. I'll handle this myself. Be careful, Kerrigan. This place makes New Folsom look like a nursery. Our sensors are tracking you. I'll relay any tactical information I can. Be careful, Kerrigan. My father will have made every precaution to ensure no one reaches Commander Raynor. He's not prepared for me. This isn't happening. Destroy the coupling! Jettison the prison deck! You heard the man. Blast it! We're cutting the prisoners loose! Kerrigan. I did not think you would be so foolish as to come here. And now, your actions will lead to the death of all these brave men. What did he just say? They are all heroes, willing to sacrifice their lives in order to end your miserable existence. You and James Rayner can burn. Kerrigan, we just watched the bridge explode. The Moros is tearing itself apart. We have to save Jim. We're running out of time. Zagara, have the Leviathan stabilize this section of the ship. It is done. Hold on, Jim. I'm almost there. to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. 
you swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me? I love you, Jim. Never forget it. We're done. Jim is doing well. He's in the med bay, but I don't think he wants to talk to anyone. I'm here to talk to you, Valerian. You understand that I'm going to Core Hall soon? I do. You plan to kill my father. He's had this coming for a long time. I need to know where you stand. I stand for my people. I've accepted that my father is beyond redemption and must be removed from power. I'm glad we understand each other. My queen, your mind is closed to me. To the entire swarm, I do not understand. My queen. You do not speak. There are no words. We are picking up a strange psionic signal. It is Zerg in origin, but not part of the swarm. I know you seek to topple Manks. His alien soldiers, the hybrid, are your greatest threat. If you wish to stop them, meet me at these coordinates. If the Dominion is controlling hybrid, our invasion of Korhal will fail. This lab must be destroyed. My queen, the infested Terran who contacted you waits over there. He claims to know you. Who are you? You do not recognize me? I am Alexis Stokov. We were enemies once. Well, we both seem to be Zerg now. Indeed, and we share a common goal, the destruction of this facility. It is here that Manx breeds the hybrid. Combining Protoss and Zerg DNA to create monstrous creatures of immense power. Then we'll destroy this facility together. This isn't just about getting rid of the hybrid threat, is it? Why are you helping me? They held me here for many years. I survived experiments, torture and worse. Now I will see it burn. You were the only one I could think of with the power and will to aid me. Infested. Held captive. Experimented on and hunted. We have some things in common. Contact the Brood Mothers. Tell them to bring their Leviathans to this system. Should they unleash their broods upon the station? No. Zagara and I will lead our broods in the assault. So the other broods will simply hold in orbit. I want them nearby. After we destroy this station, we're going to Core Hall. The infested Terran. I have never seen his like. He is powerful, but closed off. Where is he from? Stukov is from Earth. A few years ago, they sent an invading force here. I remember it. I destroyed them. As it should be. I thought Stukov was killed. I heard reports that he'd been resurrected, that he'd been infested, then cured. If he's been a prisoner here all these years, anything is possible. This is the source of Minsk's hybrid? Just getting inside is going to be an achievement.
Orgasm Stukov. Fascinating. Implications disturbing. How so? Modifications of Stukov, second only to modifications of Primal Queen of Blades. However, Stukov, product of specific design. Interweaving of Terran and Zerg matter, subtle, spun on micro scale, not possible for swarm. Something out there is better at this than you, and you don't like it. Entity responsible for Stukov exceeds organism Abathur, untenable to oppose. Recommend immediate indoctrination into foreign entities swarm. Never. The main entrance of the Skyger platform is heavily defended. We must dislodge this Dominion force before we can assault the lab itself. This lift is the only entrance into the laboratories. It is also the second most heavily defended location in Dominion space. So they've got a lot of Marines. We'll use those numbers against them. Bring in my infestors. We're going to implant virophages at these garrisons. Once they've infested the Terrans inside, I'll use them to secure the landing bay. We'll clear it before the Dominion can even react. The Zerg are infesting the facility. Release the gas! My queen, the gas is destroying the infested Terrans. We can always infest more. They're only killing themselves. Chemical warfare. Efficient delivery mechanism. Gas unstable. Once Dominion reserves run out, we'll require time to synthesize more. And that's when we resume our attack. Until then, we'll hold here and defend the Virophages. My queen, the swarm is ready to enter the laboratory at your command. Good. It's time we found out what's waiting inside. Broodmother Noctul has contacted us. She speaks for the remaining Broodmothers, not under your control. They feel your power, and they wish to return to the swarm. Brood mothers, hear me. I am sending you the location of our enemies across the sector. Destroy them. Burn their strongholds in my name. Then, you shall be one with the swarm. We shall do this, my queen. With their return, the Swarm will be whole. You are very near to your victory. Skyger Station. The Dominion's secret weapons lab. This is the heart that makes X hybrid breeding program. Tell me about the hybrid. Zerg and Protoss DNA combined. Something that should not be possible. And these creatures will follow Mengsk's orders? He believes they will. I am not so sure. This place is very far out of the way. But it's guarded as if it were Korhal itself. The Terrans must greatly prize that which lies within. But technology at this scale... This is beyond Mengsk's engineers. Perhaps they have help from something greater than themselves. If there are any answers, they are inside. This place of metal and stone. Why? You're not impressed? The Primal Zerg couldn't build something like this. I do not need a wall. I will evolve armor. I do not need a weapon. I will evolve claws. The toolmakers might create something stronger than your armor and claws. Their tools stay the same. I collect 
I change. The vanguard of your swarm holds the entrance of the lab. The hybrid wait within. Let sin into hell. Be quick. I have a battle to command. I must warn you about the being that runs this lab. Dr. Narud. An ancient shapeshifter who has worn many faces over the years. He made me what I am. So he's not a Terran? Protoss? He can't be Zerg or I would know. None of those. He is the servant of an ancient Zelnaga known as Amon. I learned of Amon on Zerus. He's dead. Well, his creation lives on. Narud is the most dangerous being you've ever met. And you will face him in there. Kerrigan, this lab houses the culmination of Narud's research, the hybrid. They are the ultimate weapon of the final war. The hybrid are waking up. What's happening to you? It's attacking me psionically, draining me. Stay strong. You must kill the hybrid or we are all doomed. We have succeeded, my queen. There are no more hybrid signatures on this level. Have the swarm flood into the lower levels. Kill everyone in our way. Nerud is up to something. And I intend to find out what. I touched Narud's mind in there. I sensed his devotion to this Amon. Narud's been trying to resurrect his master for millennia. It makes sense. The endless conflict between Protoss and Zerg, the hybrid. All part of a plan to bring Amon back. Unless we stop him. You have unselected abilities, my queen. You can review them within your chamber. I wonder how Narud could hope to resurrect a being as powerful as Eggman. I think the hybrid are key. They gather psionic energy. But where would they get enough to resurrect a dead god? You told me an ancient Zelnaga artifact was used to make you human again. But all the power you wielded as the Queen of Blades, where did it go after your transformation? You mean there might have been hybrid nearby who gathered it? And used it to... Oh no. If Narud used the Zelnaga artifact in that way, he may already have enough energy to resurrect Aemon. We are sensing strange entities in the lab. You mean besides the hybrid and the evil shapeshifter? Protoss, my queen, in great numbers. Yes, I sense them now. Taldarim. They serve Amon willingly. They worship him. They worship a dead god. That makes them even more dangerous. This thing in the lab, this Nerud, it's shielding itself from me, but I can still sense its power. Tell me of it. It's like nothing I faced before. But you destroyed the Ancient One. You captured the power of Orzeras. This is something born of the Void. Cold and empty. But so powerful it hurts. The hybrid. Their essence is strong, but I cannot collect it. Nerud created them. 
Do you think he will bring you more essence if you follow him? That one serves a master who will devour all essence. You're talking about Amon? I think he's dead. And I'm going to make sure he stays that way. If that one lives, all essence will be collected. Change will stop. I will fight. Narud is an ancient creature of vast power. He waits for you in the bowels of this place. One of you will die. Make sure it's that son of a bitch. The Zerg has breached the Sanctum! Protoss. Narud has held these Taldarim in the reserve. They are his best troops. The final battle is near. A shame. This Alterolisk might have been useful. Organism Stukov misunderstands. Death irrelevant. Only essence important. <laughs> Ultralisk reconstituted. Ultimate expression of swarm evolution. We need to secure a location for our hive cluster. Then, we deal with Narud. Why would Narud build this lab on top of a Zelnaga temple? You know nothing of the Zelnaga. Narud is driving a null zone towards you. It will kill you on contact. These temples are amplifying his power. Stukov, go to the temples and destroy them. I thought you'd never ask. Done it. The Null Zone has left Narut weakened, vulnerable. Even so, he's the most powerful being I've ever faced. What will you do? Kill him. Face me, Rude. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think?
You are not Jim! You are nothing! I'm everything you lost. I am everything you never had. You've already lost. Amon lives. You will see him soon. My queen, can you hear me? I am... alive. Barely. We dragged you back to the Leviathan. Rest now. I will control the swarm until you are healed. Why... aren't you... trying to... Take the swarm for my own? Because I still have much to learn from you, my queen. Enough. She is healing, but she must rest now. Narod is dead and the hybrid lab is destroyed. I am the final loose end. I suppose you kill me now. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. <laughs> Where would I go? Half man, half zerg. A monster. I understand. Believe me. Stay with the swarm. And perhaps the way will become clear. If nothing else, it will be interesting. The swarm was once Amon's tool. He will seek to use us again. I will prepare for his coming. But not until I'm done with Minsk. Of course, my queen. I'm coming for you, Minsk. And you won't have any hybrid to protect you. Isha, take the Leviathan up. We're leaving. Garrigan, you saw something in that lab. In Arud's mind. I saw Amon. Older than the universe, more powerful than I can understand. And now he's alive again. Then he shall fall before the swarm, like all the rest. We don't even know where he is. We must prepare for his coming. But I have a few scores to settle first. Inform the Broodmothers. The swarm moves on Core Hall. At last. Minsk will suffer for his crimes. I'm going to Core Hall. It's time. Why are you telling us this, Kerrigan? There will be ruin, destruction, millions can die amid the chaos. Valerian. Your people will need a leader. You're right, Kerrigan. They will. If I'm to be that leader, I'll ask only one thing of you. Bring your swarm down outside the city. That will give us time to evacuate. Korhal is going to be the most difficult battle of my life. And you're asking me to make it harder. I am. I was wrong about you, Valerian. You're not like your father. I'll give you your chance. Make the most of it.
My queen, the swarm has assembled above Core Hall. The brood mothers await your command. Tell them to hold position in orbit. Stay out of range of the planet's defenses. Dominion fleets are converging on our position. Terran troops are arriving from all over the sector. Broodmother Kalisa, hear me. Have your Leviathans form a blockade. Kill anything coming into the system. Nothing will stop us. Korhal is mine. I have never seen so many Terrans. They are pulling everything back to defend this world. Their orbital defenses will kill millions of us before we even hit the ground. The Terrans have no chance. We are numberless. We are the Swarm. I sense a broad frequency emanating from the palace in Augustgrad. Yes, I sense it too. I can hear. Dominion forces, this is your Emperor, Arcturus Minsk. Korhal is under attack by the Zerg Swarm. Our special weapons lab has been destroyed. Our defenses stripped. Any fleet that can hear my voice, return to Korhal. The seat of human power is under assault. Come in, defend your home. Trapped like a rat in a cage, aren't you, Arcturus? I need a weapon to destroy Korhal's orbital defenses, and I need it fast. Can modify viral phage sequence. Would concentrate bile. Expel as projectile. Can you get it working in time? Survival of swarm dependent on evolution, iteration. Trust process, trust sequences. Swarm will not fail. The Swarm is engaged with Core Hall's orbital defenses. We are ready to begin the surface invasion. My Queen, your Leviathans are in position. Unleash the Swarm. We will lose countless drop pods in the opening moments. We're sending millions, even if only a fraction gets through. It'll still be more than enough to take out these orbital defenses from the ground. A bio launcher has broken through the orbital defense network. Zerg! Blast it! Dominion ground forces have secured this area. Our bio-launchers cannot survive without support. I'm going to handle this... personally. Send in all the drop pods. They should be centered around this region. Alert me the moment one breaks through. I'll make sure the launcher survives. Dominion forces are in full retreat. Isha, have my broodmothers deploy their forces. Zagara, move your brood further into the city. Take up positions around the palace. Yes, my queen. It's time to dethrone the Emperor. Your revenge is close now. Nothing can stop it. Don't underestimate Minsk. He is by far the most cunning enemy we've ever faced. If I should fall, you must take the swarm from Core Hall. Flee? This is not the way of the Zerg. Yet it is my will. You will obey my command and take the swarm to seek our true enemy. Find Amon. Destroy him before he can enslave the swarm again. As you command. You sit in that palace like a spider at the center of its web. 
But your web is falling apart around you, Mengsk. There were so many ways to fail. I feared we would not make it to the surface. But we did. You have made us so powerful. But when you have your revenge, will you leave us? I am one with the Swarm Isha. If we survive this fight, we have even greater battles ahead. We will face them together. Here you are at the enemy's doorstep. It is almost over. I don't think it will be that simple. It never is with Arcturus. He thinks around you, that one. He knows where you'll walk before you do. But you've been part of so many of his plans. As accomplice or a victim? I am sure you learned a trick or two, yes? I did. We'll find out very soon if I was a good student. I have seen more of the Terrans than ever before. In some way, I feel sorry for them. How so? They have their nations and their clans, but each one of them is alone inside. I wish I could help them by taking their essence for the swarm and then killing them. The Terrans have no idea you're with me. They don't know about the Primal Zerg. We will collect them. You will surprise them. They have always used our psionic connection against us. The Primal Zerg do not have this connection. The Primal Zerg do not need this. Exactly. Your broods are ready, my queen. The invasion of Augustgrad begins at your command. Kerrigan, look at what you have wrought. Thousands dead, all for your revenge. Their blood is on your hands, Arcturus. You made every part of this happen. I have done great and terrible things, it is true. And I would again to protect humanity from monsters like you. You use words like weapons, Arcturus, but words cannot save you now. Oh, oh, I have other weapons. I just wanted to say goodbye, Kerrigan. Our outlying broods are being eradicated. The Terrans have deployed a side destroyer. It corrupts our own hive mind, ripping us apart from the inside. The field will quickly kill any Zerg who enters it. Understood. Listen to me, all of you. The Dominion will launch an assault in a moment. A diversion to keep us from dealing with the side destroyer. Yes, and we're going to let them think we're diverted. Zagara, you have the swarm. Hold the middle. Stukov, take a force and screen her flanks. And Dahaka, this is your moment. The device uses this Psy connection you share. But I do not have a Psy connection. I will not need it. Exactly. Gather your pack. Let's see what your Psy Destroyer can do, Minsk. The swarm is going to be torn apart. We have to shut down this field now! Dahaka, this is the central hub of the Psy Destroyer. We're going to bring it offline permanently. The Psy Destroyer uses power links to extend its range. Disable them, and the field will shut down temporarily. This field poses no threat to me. I will rip apart this power link myself. Once the field is down, I'll command the swarm and destroy their defenses. Then it is time to act. I must go. I gather my pack. We will return and destroy the next power link.
The destroyer field is down. Prepare a hive cluster for combat. The Psy destroyer is rerouting power. The field will reactivate shortly. Keep me informed on its progress, Isha. For now, I'm going to crush the Dominion. We've done it. The Psy destroyer is finished. Zagara, report. We are pushing the Dominion into the Imperial Sector now. Was that your last card, Minsk? It wasn't good enough. Can you feel it, Mengsk? All your plans, and lies, and manipulations are crashing down around you. Soon, all the pain you've caused will come back to you. Whatever comes, I am ready, my queen. Even if we fall and die in this battle, we've already done the impossible. We've shattered the power of Mengsk. It will be up to the Terrans to make something of the opportunity. That means nothing to the future of the Swarm. True. But there are still Broodmothers in orbit with their Leviathans. The Swarm will continue, no matter what. And it will be changed. Forever. I will remember what you told me, my queen. But now the time for words is past. Let us kill. You're right, Sigara. And there's no one I'd rather have as my second for this battle. You've served me well, Dahaka. I collect much essence from following. I'm glad to hear it. I still need you in my swarm. The essence still flows. I still change. I still follow. That's all there is to say. Now it's time for action. In one hour, either Arcturus Minx will be dead, or I will. If I'm still alive, I will set out to find Amon. The fallen Zilnaga, a being of unknowable power. There's no way we can win. Then why fight? Because the only other option is to lie down and die. Well, I never wanted to die lying down. So, fight a god to the bitter end? That sounds like a worthy death. I am with you. Swarm has evolved into powerful weapon. Greatest leader. Greatest? Abathur. Everything I've done to the Swarm has been for my own revenge. Queen determines purpose. When purpose changes, Swarm changes. This our function. You know, sometimes you're not so bad, Abathur. Unclear. The Terran weapon has been shattered. Your Swarm is poised to move. Only the palace defenses remain. The northeast sector is clear. We're behind in the eastern corridor. It's time, Valerian. The evacuation is still underway. I can't afford to hold back any longer. Promise me you'll avoid civilian centers. I can't do that. Arcturus would see that pattern in my movements and use it against me. Then millions will die. All right. Just stay out of my way, and I'll do what I can. Kerrigan, the die is cast. This is the last day your swarm darkens the sky of any planet. Torval will endure. As will I. Nice quote. I'll engrave it on your tombstone. Isha, Zagara, Stukov, Dahaka. All my brood mothers, all my queens, hear me. The time for planning and deliberation is past. Now we tear them down. 
attack, and do not stop until they are all dead. My queen, a Terran battle cruiser is inbound on your location. There's something familiar about... Jim? Let's finish the job. I didn't think you would come back. We're both tied up in whatever happens here today. We do it together. Jim, thank you. Thank me later. It's time you put your war face on. Zagaro, take command. I have an appointment with the Emperor. Long live the Queen! you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lives you've ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster. You made us all into monsters.
true enemy. He waits for me in the void, wielding powers I cannot imagine. I go to face him, having renounced everything. My humanity. My identity. The man I love. But I will not face this enemy alone. I am the Swarm.